everybody and welcome to my channel you got me in stitches my name is Anna I hope you guys have all had a wonderful week where possible because over the globe there's been quite a bit of snowstorms and all sorts of things going on and I still got some snow here at the end of the video I will finish it off with some of the landscapes which are completely covered in snow it is an incredibly sunny day today so I don't know how long the snow is going to last for. Anyway, I have made just two makes this week. So I will start off by showing you the first one, which is this one, the Lana skirt. There was no instructions actually inside this pattern. They come in the sewing book, which this pattern accompanied. I got this at a sewing meetup a little while ago, so I don't actually have the magazine that accompanies it, but that's okay. It was pretty straightforward, three main pieces for the skirt, and then there was obviously the side zipper, and just the little detailing around the waist, and obviously the back and front waistbands. So I will talk you through um, my journey with it. So I got this really lovely fabric that I showed you guys before. This is on my Make 9. So obviously this skirt is one of my completed Make 9s. Now when I went to the store and got this fabric, it was quite busy that day. And so the fabric was on the bolt quite tightly and I was sort of touching it like this. And usually I sort of unravel it and give it a good sort of um, sort of test feel to see how the fabric works and uh, now obviously purchasing this there's quite a high content of polyester in this and as you guys know I own kitty cats and seriously it is like a magnet it, it was just like oh my god like so much fluff sort of like attaching it and I'm always sort of having to shake it off but it's just one of those things so as you can see here it's got the little front detailing and I put those two buttons on and then it has exactly the same on the back and it's these mother of pearl buttons I don't know, yeah you can see in a lie but they've got that little shimmer I think that's really attractive on bows so let me just unhook this from <laughs> the hanger. Okay, so this is my side zipper. And I'm really happy with that. You know my journey with zippers. I don't think ever in my entire life have I <laughs> ever sewn a zipper and it's gone correctly. So as you can see, that all lines up. And then try and it's difficult holding it if it was laying flat I think in the stills at the end I've got a photograph and you can see so yeah I was really happy about that it's probably going to just be a one-off it's going to be the sort of one-off wonder zipper and probably just mess up on all the other zippers but right now I'm really happy with that so now the bizarre thing is on the paper pattern sheets the front two panels were, you know, it states to um, lay them on the fabric on the bias, but not the back. Now, I was a little bit confused with that. I mean, let me know in the comments, would that work? I always thought when you cut garments on the bias that it should all be cut on the bias. So who knows? But anyway, this is the front and I have matched, as you can see, I think pretty all right so we follow that down let's get the light right for you guys so again you'll probably see it better in the stills on the waistband inside I don't know let me try and get the angle I hand stitched all that and I surged the raw edges on 
all of the seams I was going to do French seams but I thought you know what just just to get this sort of relatively neat I will just stitch it up regularly it has two darts in the front and two darts in the back so if I hold that so you can see there and there and then again on the back there it comes down to my knee and just as a little bit of sort of I don't know little difference on the bias binding I put this green so I, again you'll see that in the video at the end when I'm being silly and just giving it a swish around so you get sort of a little sneaky peek of the binding now I don't know if you guys can see that it's just ever so slightly see-through so I may add some lining um I don't know but overall I'm really happy with that and I teamed up with sort of chunky knit tights and some knee-high boots again you will see that at the end and I'm kind of glad that I sort of semi wrapped up warm for that because that particular day is really windy which you might hear in the footage and yeah there was snow absolutely everywhere but you know that's part of the fun okay so I will show you my second make okay guys so my second make is another shirt in this really cute Bambi and Thumper fabric so I will talk through what I've done it's exactly the same sort of self drafted shirt that I originally made a few tweaks to again you've seen these a bunch of times already so but for any newcomers to my channel I had this shirt that I originally bought from a store just made a few tweaks to it and drafted patterns from that fabric I'd used a quick unpick and seam ripped everything laid that on uh, paper did all my tweaks and then I had my pattern pieces and so since then I have I've made still a couple of tweaks even since then just to make the shirt a little tiny bit larger and just to sort of get sort of the bust gathering just sort of a bit more correct and also the sleeves just to give them a little tiny bit of um, poof just in the shoulder okay so I have done a mandarin colour which came together really well and I used the satin silver fabric and then I've used that to follow down the V neckline the only thing with this fabric is obviously you can see Bambi and Thumper are the correct way then they're upside down see you know there's nothing you can do about that so short sleeves and again there as you can see just a slight little bit of detailing there just so it's not completely flat just so it gives it a little bit of detailing so the gathers are just very gentle on the inside I have put this off-white bias binding just to finish that off to make it look a little bit more professional again there around the bust area I've got the little detailing there just where it's sort of gathered just to give it a nipped in look also for instead of doing the buttons like I usually do this time as you can see I have used rather large snips and I think that's a little bit of fun just sometimes when you're fiddling with buttons and you know my button journey it's um yeah because I've lost or mislaid the buttonhole foot on my Frista sewing machine I don't know where it's gone I think it's fallen down at the back somewhere because that's not the sort of thing that I would ever lose or anything anyway on the hem again I have used this bias binding and yeah so 
that's it it's a really comfortable wear and it's the fabric is 100% cotton and it's really soft it's quite a light cotton yeah and it's been in my fabric collection I should show you the back yeah and I love Bambi so yeah yeah but yeah so I think what do you think guys and I like how the um, silver satin has complemented the grey in the fabric so again at the end of me yakking here you will see the stills and the video of me wearing it so yes just two makes this week guys I currently have on my sewing table another pattern for my make nine so it's this one I've read through all the instructions this is actually 1970 this specific pattern so that's rather fun and I like that and as you guys have previously seen I've got the green just like the model is wearing there and it's in quite a semi heavy drill and I think that would work quite well so hopefully if I kept that sewn up that will be for next Sunday okay for you guys that are new to my channel um, I have now started putting an extra video in this week on Wednesdays and it's uh, just suited to my vintage so if you'd like to check that out one has already gone up and this Wednesday will be another one so I'm kind of working on that at the moment where I can so yeah that's that's all I've um, made this week so and I've done a little bit of um, shall we say my pattern design and for one of the secret uh, make nine so again I can't say anything about that until the reveal so okay right that's it guys not really much else to say so like I said the stills will be inserted after I finished going on <laughs> and I will finish it off after that with the beautiful snowy scenes of the sort of countryside okay guys I hope you have a lovely week let me know in the comments what you're up to and how have you been and what you've been sewing or crochet or anything that you enjoy doing okay thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to subscribe please do and please give me a thumbs up it's all very much appreciated okay look after yourself guys and I will see you on Wednesday